Hi all, welcome to my YouTube channel The Testing Instinct. In this video, I will be discussing about query parameter in Bruno. The query parameters are used to sort or filter resources. In this demo, we will be using the list uses get HTTP method supported API endpoint. So we will be using the API provided by request website. I have opened this website already in Chrome browser. So for the demo, we will be using this list uses API endpoint. I am opening this request in a new tab. If you check this endpoint, you can see a question mark. There is a key page equal to its value to so the part from question mark to page equal to is the query parameter. So we will be using this query parameter in Bruno. I am going straight into the demo. I have already opened Bruno. I have created one request called get user from page 2. So this particular API request is giving the details of the created users from page 2. So we are going to use the query parameter in this request. First I am giving the base URL value for the request. I have already configured it in the QA environment. So I am referring it here. Just use double curly brace and mention the variable name. Then you have to put a forward slash. After that, if you check the endpoint, there is a uses. So you have to mention that here. Now we have to use the query parameter. To do that, the params tab. There is a query section. There is a add param option here. Click on that. In the params tab. As soon as I enter the name of the query parameter, it gets appended to the endpoint. So I am going to add the query parameter in the name column. So the query parameter name is page and its value is 2. You can see the query parameter getting appended to the API endpoint. I am saving the request. I am sending the request now. So you can see that we have got the list of users that is created in page 2 so this is the same response which we have seen in the website as well you can see the same response here as well so this is how you can use a query parameter in bruno you can disable the query parameter and there is option to delete as well so that's all in the demo so i hope uh, this session was very useful for everyone if you find this video helpful please consider subscribing the channel please like share and comment on the video Thanks for watching and keep learning.